In this video, we're going to be demonstrating forearm supination and pronation, wrist flexion extension, and radial and ulnar deviation range of motion. There are some different ways to measure these, and we're only going to show a couple right now. So one of the ways to measure supination is to hold a pen. From here, we're going to ask our patient to supinate. We're going to line up with the third knuckle and be parallel to the pen. Your stationary arm is going to remain perpendicular to the ceiling. Your moving arm goes parallel to the pen. Your eye tries to get in on the third knuckle. And I have 55 degrees. Pronation goes the same, just the other way. Third knuckle, axis. Stationary arm to ceiling. Moving arm parallel to pen, not on pen, parallel to pen. And I have 62 degrees. Another. We're going to look at our wrist flexion and extension range of motion measures. We're going to line up our axis with the ulnar styloid, our moving arm with the fifth metacarpal, and our stationary arm with the lateral epicondyle. Corey, what we're going to do is we're going to move into wrist extension, so bringing your wrist up. doesn't necessarily have to be on the fifth metacarpal, parallel is good as well. And I have 60 degrees, active overpressure, not on the fingers, but on the palm. And I have 70 degrees. Flexion is the same, just the opposite direction. So moving the palm down towards the floor, same goniometer alignment. I have 62 degrees and 80 degrees. Now looking at ulnar and radial deviation. Can you scoot back just a little bit? I'm going to line up my axis with the capitate. Let's scoot back so you're holding the support it here. There we go. This chair doesn't go any further back, but if it did, we would, just so his arm is directly under the side of his body. So for ulnar deviation, we're going to move the hand this way as much as we can, line up with the capitate, the center of the forearm, and the third metacarpal. I have 45 passive, sorry, 45 active, and 50 passive. Same thing for radial deviation, going the other direction. I have 20 active, assisting now for passive. I have 22 passive. 